what's going on, solid stuff is this Miss War coming to you. And I was just thinking to myself this morning when I was doing my weekend chores, you know, like laundry and just meditation, prepping my meals, things like that. And I was thinking about how I really just wanted to go lay down, you know. And then I started thinking about the fact that whenever you want something, you have to work for it. And that successful people um, are successful because they go do shit when they don't want to do it. You know, the difference between people who are successful and people who are not. People who are successful have the same challenges and same issues. But those of us who are truly successful, even when we don't feel like doing it, we do it. Like right now, I can easily change my schedule, move everything to Monday, but then I'm caught in the the gridlock of that, you know, and then that affects my future plans. But I was just thinking about how difficult it is for people to be that disciplined. Like today I have a job in Miramar Beach, one in Santa Rosa, and one in a place called Niceville. Um, and I want to, you know, get this stuff handled and everything, but at the same time, I think about the challenges I run into sometimes being on the other coast, not being close to my home base and things like that. But then I think about they're really not challenges. They're opportunities for greatness. You know, and a lot of times people don't understand when you run into something that may cause a conflict or may make you uncomfortable or, you know, da, 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 da. You know, a lot of that is because you are simply having to put some things in place, you know, that other people have dropped the ball on or don't have experience, you know? But at the end of the day, you the difference between people who are successful and people who are not is people who are successful, they get the shit done, you know? They don't have excuses. Like, I got a couple of things I got to ship off. I'm a little irritated because, uh, you know, I got to go to Office Depot, FedEx, and I'm spoiled. I'm used to going to FedEx uh, office. You know, because I'm in areas generally that are more populated and that have some of those comforts, those comforts I take for granted. Now, why am I irritated? It's the same damn difference. I might have to do a little extra, but that's just first world problems. So I'm always pulling myself up and caught holding myself accountable. You know, I'm in the middle of working out, main, maintaining my uh, nutritional stuff, just things that I have to do. And, you know, I'm human like everybody else. I'll be ready to say, screw that. But then I think about the alternative. I'm like, what the hell are you going to be doing anyway? Sitting on your ass somewhere? Nothing productive, miserable. You know, you've lost all these hours and opportunities to not only be your best self, but continue to groom and fashion what you wish to be and wish to have. You know, I was talking to my better half the other day. We were talking about how the people put things in place for their retirement. And, you know, they make investments and they, you know, they live a certain way so that now, so they can live a certain way later. And it's never too late to do that. That's what I'm trying to tell people. Like, when I'm in these areas, I'm always looking at property. Like, when I finish this video, I'm going to call one of my um, property partners because we were talking about a small town that we were looking at investing in and the opportunities there, not just today, but for the future. So that's what I'm talking about. Like at the end of the day, you have to be willing to do stuff you don't want to do. You know, I couldn't be, I mean, I can't complain. I'm in the sunshine. I'm going to be on the beaches. Everybody's nice and pleasant. I ain't even got to deal with clients. You know, a lot of these I'm going to take care of are luxury rentals, so that's nobody going to be there but me. I mean, that's for appliance tech people. That's like ideal. We don't want nobody there because we just want to focus. We, you know, it's not like we have an issue with the customers. It's just we want to focus, do a very good job, and be able to next level our own moves. And that comes from precision, having the parts, the one-stop completions, things of that nature, you know? So, with that said, y'all got to understand, in order to be successful, you got to be willing to do when you don't want to do, you know? That's the difference. People are successful, people that do things that people uh, don't want to do. And I'm not talking about major stuff. That's what be killing me about America. Y'all be throwing attitudes about some of the 
y'all be in y'all feelings. It's like, and I'm guilty of it too. That's why I have to check myself. Like, I was talking to Claudine the other day, and we were discussing uh, the things we do to release tension, and you know, something we may watch that people wouldn't even think we even up on. But the reality is, we chuckle like everybody up. You know, one thing I love about Claudine, she is time management queen. Like, I don't even know how. You know, I just, man, please. I, I like, I have to be on my own game. I can't even I'm telling you. When y'all get in certain levels and getting around certain people and certain things, you got your game got to be super tight, you know, and that's what I love about that situation. But at the end of the day, if you ain't around people that make you not only want to be better, that show you how it really is done, then you need to check your circle. That's all I'm going to tell you. But with that said, I'm going to get up off this uh, video. I want you guys to have a great day. Of course, the sun is shining here on the west coast of Florida. You know, the Emerald Coast, as we like to call it, or Lower Alabama, as other ones do. Y'all have a great day, and y'all enjoy this Sunday, and be happy and blessed that you got one, because a lot of people ain't making y'all. With that said, I'm a holla. Keep stepping solid steppers. All right, take the tights. Go get it.